Rhythm is indeed the key to good sending. If your code is to mean anything to others in the radio net, then you've got to send rhythmically. Dits must be uniform and short. Da's uniform and long. Spacing exactly right. Very small, tight spaces between the dits and da's in a character. As the operator will now demonstrate, with letters that are all dits or all da's. Each of them has a distinctive beat. There's the galloping sound. Hotel. No, it's not H. Think phonetically. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and so on. This is Hotel. And it's printed military style by the numbers. One stroke down. Two down. Three across. We've added arrows to our lettering merely to remind you of the direction of each stroke. All right, this is hotel. Four dits, galloping like a horse in a hurry. Did it a dit, did it a dit. Why the hurry? To get to the hotel. Now the sound of the three beat letters, Oscar and Sierra. In combination, one particular combination, they've got a rhythm nobody misses. India is a quick little two-step. Mike clumps around heavy-footed. Our founder and benefactor, Mr. Samuel F. B. Morse, was a practical man. He reserved the shortest sound patterns for the letters we use the most. Echo, one lonely dit. And tango, one solid da. Now the beat is trickier but still easy enough to get in the characters that combine dits and da's. Yankee, for example. No, slow it down. Da, de, da, da. That's a soldier changing step. Watch. Da, de, da, da. Yankee rhythm every time. Charlie's different. He's always changing step. Da, di, da, di. Juliet is a girl walking away mad. Di, da, da, da. And Romeo couldn't care less. Did da dit. In short, the pattern of dits and da's and spaces gives a very special sound to each of the 36 characters in our code. And you cannot send that sound simply by counting out the dits and da's and letting the spaces between them stretch out while you count. Romeo is not dit, da, dit. It's did I did. Listen. And you won't get Lima merely by adding one more dit. Dit, da, dit, dit. It falls apart when you stop that way. You must send the complete sound of Lima. Did I did it. Listen. Did I did. Did I did it? Two different sounds, two different beats, 
two different rhythms. So much for the spacing between the dits and da's of a character. Very tight and uniform. Spacing between the characters in a word or group is uniform too, but longer. A definite space or pause after a letter is completed, even when he speeds up. Are you wondering if proper spacing is really so important? Or is it no more than an extra refinement, the nice thing to do, like neat handwriting? If you think so, you're wrong, and I'll show you why. As you see, this word consists of a dit, a dot, two dits, three dots, a dit, and two more dots. The operator will send these elements again. Same number of dits, same number of dots, in exactly the same order. But this time he will change the spacing a little. Dit for dit and da for da, they match. Only the spacing makes the difference between one word and the other. Those planes being described, are they merely flying low? Or are they enemy? I want to re-emphasize this important point about spacing. Tight spaces are used between dits and das. Longer spacing to separate the characters. And even longer spacing than that between words and groups. Listen for the three different kinds of spacing in this phrase. Letter spacing and word spacing can be a little tricky when you're sending. If a word space is too short, or letter space is too long, the sense of the message may not get through. Say that this is what you want to send. O, T, space, H. And this is what you actually send. O, space, T, space, H. O space T H is what the receiver thinks you're sending. You're trying to tell him you've just arrived. But the way he reads it, you're about to leave. Or you'd like people to believe you're working, but it comes out a weather report. <laughs> 